Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our chapel session this morning. Happy Thursday to you all. I'm looking forward to sharing a little bit of time in worship with you guys to our Lord. Uh, this morning, we're going to start like we've been starting the past couple of mornings with a quick prayer. So let's take a deep breath in and blow it out slowly and come into prayer hands. We thank you, God, as our chapel begins. We thank you, God, for our family and our friends. Please guide us, Lord, as we learn and play. Please hear us, Lord, as we sing and pray. Amen. All right. So let's do, uh, let's do a quick song. Let's do More Than Conquerors. And um, my apologies for it even starts. I've, after watching these things, I've been learning that I'm not as good a singer as I thought I was. So uh, just go, roll along with me. Sing at home loud so mom and dad can hear you and not hear me. Let's see if we can get this thing going. Here we go. do a quick story and then we'll talk about it and then we'll sing another song okay uh this story it's comes from the book of philippians so this is one of paul's letters paul was an uh, the apostle paul wrote a lot of letters to a lot of different churches and this is one of the letters that he wrote to the church in philippi and this was a uh, reading from the book of philippians if anyone else has reason to be confident in the flesh i have more says paul I was circumcised on the eighth day. I was a member of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew born of Hebrews. As to the law, I was a Pharisee. As to zeal, I was a persecutor of Christ's church. As to righteousness under the law, I was blameless. Yet whatever gains I had, these I have come to regard as a loss because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as a loss because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as nothing more than rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him. Not having righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but having righteousness that comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God based on faith. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his sufferings by becoming like him in death. If somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead, it will surely be through him. Not that I've already obtained or have already reached this goal, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Beloved, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal 
for the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. Hear what God is saying to us today. Thanks be to God. Okay, okay, so um, <sighs> how to talk about this. this is a very interesting reading and I really like it and I'm really glad we're gonna use it to kick off our conversation about goodness. When I was a kid, I got to meet all kinds of interesting people. And uh, a lot of them were friends with my dad. And one, there was this guy, his name was Big Ed, Big Ed. And Big Ed lived in this uh, piece, uh, kind of a small house. It was a guest house on a much larger property that had been bought by his father. His father was named Mr. Ed Lafferty. And Mr. Ed Lafferty had made a ton of money in real estate up in Virginia. And he had bought this old plantation and restored it. And he lived up in the plantation manor. His son lived on the grounds. He had other people who lived there, tons of people working for him, caring for things, doing all this cool stuff to keep the place going and keep it beautiful. And we were up visiting Big Ed. And we got to ride around all over the grounds on four wheelers. We got to go in, in a, the first time I was ever in a four by four in a car driving off road was in this place. We got to go and go fishing in ponds and in the lake and in the river. And we got to go uh, ride horses and see all this really just neat, beautiful wilderness and cruise around in it. And we were the only people there. And Big Ed and my dad went out shooting and they, they got some rabbits for supper. And it was just the coolest experience. And then Big Ed's dad, Ed Lafferty Sr., he invited us all up to the manor house one night for dinner. And so we get up there and my parents said, you've gotta be on your best behavior. This is Mr. Lafferty's house. My sister and I, who were very young, I was like maybe six or seven, she was like seven or nine. We said, okay, you know, we'll, we'll be on our best behavior. And we get up there and we're going through the house and we're seeing all this just fantastic stuff. And every room we went into was full of like, expensive, beautiful, amazing antiques, and all of them had a story. You know, I got to sit on a, on a chair that had belonged to Thomas Jefferson. It was like being in a museum, except the museum pieces were amazing, and you got to touch them. It was so cool, right? And the thing about this house was, is that I got to be in there. And I got to be in there not because of anything I had done. I didn't get to be in there because I had good grades, because I didn't have that good of grades. I didn't get to be in there because I was a very good singer. I think we've already established I'm not a very good singer. I didn't get to be in there because I was uh, witty and charming. I hadn't gotten there yet. Um, I got to be in there just because of who I knew. See, I was there with my dad, and my dad knew Big Ed. And Big Ed was Ed Lafferty Sr.'s son. And because of who I knew and who I was with, I got to be there. There were a lot of people who deserved to be there much more than I did. But I was the guy who got to be there. Me and my sister, my mom, my dad, a few other people were there at the same time. We were there for just a party and to hang out. And that's what the story is about today. It's all about being able to be present in God's house. Just like Mr. Lafferty called us to the big house, God's calling us up to his big house too. And we don't get to come there just because of what we do here. We don't get to come there. We don't get to earn our spot in God's big house. We gotta know the right guy. We gotta know the right guy. And if we know the right guy and we're friends with the right guy and he gives us an invitation, then we get to come to the big house and that right guy is Jesus. And as long as we know Jesus and have faith in him and follow him, then the goodness and mercy of God and Christ will follow us all of our days and we will get that invitation to the big house. Now that's not to say that we get to misbehave all the time. I was invited to Mr. Lafferty's house. My parents said I had to be my very best behavior or we'd never get invited back. And that's the same way here. God wants us to follow his rules. He wants us to do our best job, to lead lives that are lives of actionable goodness, lives where we show the fruit of the spirit in the things that we do. But it's not doing those things that's gonna get us the invitation to the big house. It's knowing Jesus. And when we know him, we get invitations to all the best things on earth and in heaven. 
we get invitations into love, into fellowship, into friendship, into learning what it's like to be a true neighbor, into giving kindness and receiving kindness, and learning patience and learning self-control. And we get all these things just because we're friends with him. So bottom line is, if we're going to make it to the big house, if we're going to make it to the really big show, we need to know Jesus to get there. And then our hands stamped. We can come and go as we please. And uh, we'll always have a spot in the big house at God's table. And that's the good news for today. All right. So on that note, on that note, I'm going to take a little bit of a leap of faith here. I'm going to sing you guys a song that we did at Vacation Bible School this past summer. Uh, I'm going to sit at the welcome table. And I've never done this without my fabulous accompanist, Elizabeth Ettinger, but I'm going to give it a shot. So here we go. Tuesday. God bless and stay safe.